Man on One Touch TV, and here, this stuff right here, this is my match review. <clears throat> so, today, 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 interesting game, you know. Football is an interesting game, you know. Everyone that's watching, like, comment, subscribe, all of that, all of that, all of that. Well, it's a game of two halves. First half. Came in looking like a, a good, strong lineup. I like the lineup. I think I got everything right but Saka instead of Aubameyang. I didn't think he was going to start this game, but he started this game. It was good to see him back. And in that first half, you guys all saw exactly why he needs to be in the side. So that whole first half was, an uh, I guess it was an Arsenal, Arsenal masterclass in a sense because we were spraying the ball well. Good one-touch passing. It was the Saka and Partey show. It was it was incredible. Like we should have been probably two, three goals up. I mean, Saka hit the crossbar or hit the post, sorry, <clears throat> and he had another chance that was disallowed in VAR, rightfully so. And we had a few other chances in the game, but we just dominated that first half. And all I was saying to myself was, please, please, please let us score a goal. Because it happens so many times. You're on top of the game. You're on top of the, the, the team that you're playing against. You don't get a goal and it comes back to haunt you. But what happened? Pepe. Pepe's obviously been watching my videos. He's obviously been watching my videos. I got at, got at him at the, after the Man U game. He had a decent decent game and today he looked like a different player. He was confident, he was involved again. He loves the two nutmeg show. I mean, he's disrespecting and violating people all over that the football pitch of late. And he pops up with a right-footed strike. Right-footed from Pepe. Yes, I said it. Right-footed from Pepe. We got a goal, 1-0 up. It's a great first half. I was The, the first half, let, let me be honest, the first half was really the Thomas Partey show, right? I was coming into the first half like, I'm coming after you. Then enter David Luiz. Yep. I think I gave him too much credit in my match preview, right? Because David Luiz, let me tell you about something about David Luiz, yeah? David Luiz is like a one-night stand. What I mean by that is he's like a one-night stand that is a, it's, it's a good night. It's a good one-night stand, yeah? It's one of those nights that you should only visit one time. One time only. One time only. Yeah? Because you never know what could happen. The next time, it, it might have been the alcohol that influenced the sex that time. It could have just been good that time. It could be really bad this time. You could catch an STD or whatever. That's David Luiz. David Luiz is that one night stand that you tried to link again. And she gave you an STD. That's David Luiz. Because one time only is what he gave us against Man United. A man of the match performance. Well done, David Luiz. One time only. His one time only. And that's when you should pull him out of the side. But what do we do? We play him again. He actually has a good, decent start in that, set, in that first half. But he goes back and does what he does best. He gave us the double... Ooh, ooh. He gave us a red card and a penalty. Bad boy. <sighs> so 1-1. One, one. First half ends 1-1. One, one. 10 against 11. The second half, Martino decides to hit a freaking screamer. And surprise, surprise. His first goal in, at Molyneux is against who? 
Arsenal. Where the where the team that records happen against, mate? Rooney's first goal, Rashford's first two goals. Like if you haven't been uh, winning at home for for ten games, play Arsenal. That run will end. That's the typical Arsenal bullshit, man. And it happened again today. So two one up, and then we had ten against eleven. It was just chasing. We were just running around for the whole second half. We were chasing the game for the whole game, man. And we had a few good attempts, a few half chances. And when we looked like we had a potential chance to do something, Burn Leno comes up with his NLL perf N N N NFL performance of a running back and tries to catch the ball outside the area. <sighs> Where'd you go from there? Nine against 11. It's impossible at that point. I think we had one chance. We had one chance of Abba where the ball went through us in an 80-something minute. And boy, that was a half chance, but we snatched at it because we knew it was the only chance we were going to get. And somehow, Wolves only beat us 2-1 with 9 against 11. That, that's impressive, to be honest, but it's definitely a game of two halves, man. David Luiz ruined the whole game. I'm not even going to get into you, Leno, because the game was already lost at that point, but what the f*** were you doing? Let me get into the match ratings now, okay? Leno, I'm going to give you a four because you got sent off. Point blank because you got sent off. That's the only reason I'm giving you a four. Otherwise, you had a decent game, I guess. Um, Luis, I've said enough about you. Two. Two. You were playing well, but you just get a two because you do this nonsense all the time. Sending offs, red cards, own goals, like stupid moments, lapses of con concentration. Like, I'm done with you. Please. Now he's got a two-match suspension. Can we never see him in the side again? There's no need. I'd rather play Chambers. I think Mari's coming back from injury. Gabriel had a good run today as well. So, yeah, we don't need to see him in the starting lineup again, man. His contract's up in the summer. Cheerio, cheerio, cheerio. Okay, so... Hold him. Um, I'll give him a seven. He actually played well. For, yeah, he played, he did well. Like, even though we went down to ten and then nine men, he actually played well. So I'll give Holden a, a seven. Um, Bellerin, I'll give him a four. There was a few chances, a few moments in that first half where we had a, a good moment up until it got to Bellerin. His decision-making, his misplaced passing... Like, his lack of end product, it, it really didn't work for me. And defensively, he was whatever. So I'm giving him a four. Cedric, I'll give you a six. Because you you were trying a little bit too much of that cross ball that he did to Saka against Southampton. But you still, you still did your thing. Especially when it was 11 against 11 in the first half. You did your thing. You uh, Defensively, you weren't too bad. In the second half, you, you had a quieter game. But that was bound to happen because we had nine men by the end of it. Um, Xhaka, I'll give you a six. Partey, he was on track to be man of the match. It was about to be the Partey show. This, this review was about to be very different. There was even one time in the first half, yeah, where Partey, um, Traore got the ball, about to go on one of his Usain Bolt runs. And Partey just said, whoops, get out of here, man. Not on my watch. But that was it. That was the last real moment of uh, magic. It was in, later on in the first half and he died down. But I'll give him a six, seven, six and a half. I'll give you a six and a half because you had a really good first half. It was your game. And I didn't know you could spray the ball so well. Like, I knew you could break up the play, be box to box, win a tackle. But his range of passing in that first half, exceptional. Um, Smith Rowe, non-existent, mate. His quietest game in the first team, I'd say. I'd give him a four. Yeah, he, he didn't really do much in the first half when we were even on top. I don't think he got the ball enough, to be fair, but he wasn't finding himself in those spaces. And when he did have the ball, he didn't really do much. So I'll give him a four. Uh, Pepe, I'll give you a six. You would have got a seven if we'd, we'd had, we didn't have uh, ten men in the second half. But I'll give you a six. Six and a half, actually. You had a decent game. The nutmegs were... Nah, six. And that makes we're all over the over the place, making them look stupid. So, you had a good game. I hope you continue your run. Bit of a shame you got taken off, but it's understandable too. Um, Laka, I give you a five. You were none really not really involved in that first half. 
did a few bits and pieces, but not your lively self. Saka definitely give you a seven. Even though we lost the game, you are the bright spark for the game. It, it shows like he's so influential for a 19. He's still a teenager and he's so influential in our side. He probably should have got a couple of goals today. But yeah, he played a blinder, man. He was all over the place, linking up, dribbling, shots, passing. He did everything today. He didn't deserve to be on the losing side, let's say that. And then the subs, I'll give Runison a four. The little stuff that you had to do, you did very badly. Four, but you shouldn't be our number two anyway. It's not your fault. Abba, I'll give you a five. You didn't really see a lot of the ball. Uh, I think you snatched at the, the real one chance that you had towards the end of the game. But you probably should have, would have done better if you had a bit of run of games. I'll give you a five. And Gabriel, I'll give you a six because you did quite well when you came on. I didn't really see any mistakes from you. So that's it. Um, boy, unfortunately, Louise is the story of this game. This is One Touch TV. Like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully we can bounce back against Aston Villa on the weekend.